We continue to track the spread of COVID-19 across the valley. Over the last 24 hours, state officials recorded 733 new cases in Fresno County. The county reports 13,000 infections since last week, with 30 lives lost during that time. Currently, about 40% of Fresno County residents have received a booster shot. While the Omicron surge starts to settle for other parts of the country, health officials in Fresno County say local statistics show the valley is not quite there yet. Action News reporter Alyssa Flores shares an update from the Fresno County Health Department, including one sign of progress for our local hospitals. The hospitals are, are busy. Um, the emergency departments are exceptionally busy still. Two years into the pandemic, Fresno County health officials say local hospitals are still treating 606 positive patients, more than they're equipped to handle. EMS Director Dan Lynch says local facilities are running at 107 to 145 percent capacity. But there is good news for the local health care system. Many workers are back on the job after COVID isolations. So about 50% uh, of the of the employees that were reported off before are now coming back to work, which really is uh, helping us uh, start staffing those surge beds. Because of the return of workers, Lynch says in the last week, community health care added 100 beds, a number expected to rise to 136 by the end of this week. But Fresno County is not out of the thick of the Omicron variant surge just yet. While more populated parts of the state are starting to see an improvement in COVID cases. But that is not the case in the in the Central Valley, especially in Fresno. Lynch says Central California tends to lag behind L.A. in the Bay Area by at least a couple of weeks. We're very hopeful that we're getting close to this peak and that we'll start seeing some sort of a downward trend. Alyssa Flores, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.